what's up you guys it's Liv and today we're gonna be doing like a try on video I feel like I literally look crazy right now let's get into this video okay in this bag here I have purchased a pretty decent amount of things to make up revolution I kind of got one of like all the different beauty things they have like I got a bronzer blush highlight eyeshadow all that good stuff um lipstick because I kind of really wanted to give like the brand a thorough try. I keep hearing really good things about it. Apparently it's like from the UK and more recently came over to the United States. So I don't know. I just keep hearing people like post videos about it and pictures saying that like it's so good and it's really affordable. Like, hold up. Let's get technical. Like this eyeshadow palette right here was $7.00. And they were doing, like, a buy two, get one free kind of deal. So it came out, like, way more cheap. More cheaper. <laughs> that college degree. Yeah, it came out cheaper. So I just think it would be really cool to do, like, a little video trying on a bunch of stuff. And I really, I've been, like, holding on to this. I've been wanting to try this so bad. But I've had it for, like, a solid week just because I haven't had time to film. And now I'm going to do it in my hour that I have before class and like going to class so oh by the way you can purchase this at Ulta I haven't seen it anywhere else um we do have a pretty wide selection but when I looked online at like their website they do have a lot more products than what we carry in store I work at Ulta that's why I sent me yeah so let's just hop right into this because I don't really know what else to say don't mind me like looking literally disgusting I just woke up the time change has had me all types of fucked up, like, I don't know left from right, the other day I didn't even know my phone number, like, all types. I also need to review this, let me know if you guys would want to see, sorry if it's blinding, but I, let me know if you guys would want to see a review of this palette, the Narcissus palette, because I got it and I haven't really used it yet, but if you guys would want to see it in a video, let me know, I can film me using it for the first time, kind of doing like a first impressions. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put on my brows and foundation and then I will be right back. So, my dumbass, I was doing my foundation and I started to set under my eyes. I only set under one eye, so we should be good. But I bought their banana powder that a lot of people rave about. So I'm gonna try that. I will do that under the other eye so we can see like the difference between the powder that I normally use and their powder. Okay, so it does come with a little sifter on top, and then I guess you can just dump it in here. Um, I'm going to dump it in the lid of my other powder container. <sighs> just because I like a nice, like, big space to work with. Oh my gosh, it's really tinted. I'm kind of nervous to put this under my eye. I'm actually really liking this so far. I haven't dusted it off or anything. But I'm pretty picky about my powders. Um, so now, let's hop into some shadow. I got some fun colors. These are the colors. It does come with a little brush. I don't think I'm going to use it because it's like these little weird puff things that I really don't fuck with. You could get so many looks out of this though. And they had other really neutral ones that I'm going to be honest, three of them literally looked identical to the three naked palettes. Like, identical. And I was going to get them, but... The only one I had to compare it to was the original Naked palette, and I didn't want to buy something that I already had because it just feels really redundant. Like, I know I'm not going to use both of them, and that just feels wasteful. Ooh, girl. All right, I'm going to dip into this pink color right here, and I'm going to go ahead and just put that in my crease. Um, so, as far as on the brush, I'm not getting much for pigmentation. It's definitely not like super pigmented, which I honestly don't mind, especially for like blending in the crease area like I am right now. All right, I'm not gonna lie, that was a lot of freaking blending. But we are getting somewhere with this. So we finally got the pink in the crease. Um, I think I'm gonna do this. Ooh, do I do purple or blue? I'm gonna do purple. We're gonna go full-fledged unicorn today. All right. So, since I had so much trouble with that, I am going to go ahead and spray this with a little bit of Urban Decay Setting Spray. Me. 
maybe that will make it work a little bit better. And we're just going to dip into the purple. I'm going in pretty aggressively. Ooh, dude, I feel like this looks so creasy on my eye. Maybe my eyes just look like that today. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I'm a little slightly disappointed here. I'm going to take this like light pink color. I don't think I'm going to take the white. I'm just going to do the pink because, I don't know. Ooh, okay. This gets some pigment up. Maybe you need to use the, the janky brush because it kind of like digs into there. You guys, I really just, I don't know. This is starting to go downhill. I'm going to do this blue color under my eyes because... I'm already starting to look like a shit show, so I might as well just kind of go with it at this point. Cool. So my mic cut off, but my camera should still have some of the audio on it, so I'll try and use that for the eyeshadow part. It's probably going to sound really terrible, but go me for, you know, not checking on the mic a little bit more. Next in my bag of goodies, I got this baked bronzer. Ooh. Lot of fallout. Oh my god, I'm kind of scared. So be light-handed with this, you guys. All drugstore bronzers, at least on me, they all look orangey. Like, even this looks orangey right now. And this is, like, what everyone raves about. Next up is blush. Oh, by the way, the bronzer was the Rock On World. I think this was the darkest one they had. I just go dark with my bronzers because the lighter ones, like, don't show up on me. And this is their Vivid Baked Blush. This one's in just like a really cute pinky color. It's called Loved Me The Best. Okay, my cheek is all looking like kind of one color. All right, I'm potentially actually looking really crazy, you know? Okay, and lastly from the line, or no, this is not lastly. This is before lastly. Um, I got their highlighters. I watched a lot of review videos on these actually because everyone keeps raving about them and the girls at my work love them. Okay, we're gonna do a little swatch before. Well, these are hard. Okay, I mean, that's cute. Do a little. Oh, okay, this one's way more golden than I thought it would be. Maybe I will really like this. I don't know, we'll see. We're just gonna go for it. Okay, loaded up the brush. Um, okay. I'm not used to my bronzer being this. Orange. I don't know. This just looks really chalky to me. Maybe I'm just not feeling the color of it. I'm thinking it might just literally be the color of the highlighter. Like, it's not bad. I just, I feel like when I look at myself straight on, this looks like hella chalky. So the lip color I got from them is called Chauffeur. And this one is the cream one. It came in matte, but I don't know. I've been really feeling cream lately. So yeah, it just kind of looked like a nude. This is it right here. It's kind of like a nude color. It's a little bit deeper than I remembered, but. All right, and last but not least, I got these Ardell mink lashes. And I just figured I'd give them a try with this look because I'm trying out new stuff anyway. So if it ends up looking terrible, it's okay because I'm already trying out new stuff anyway. Okay guys, I'm back. I literally have like two minutes before I have to leave for my class, so I'm trying to go through this pretty quickly. Um, I mean, I think you could definitely make it work. When I walked like out of, like, out of um, these artificial lights, it really didn't look that bad, but I'm just really particular about my makeup. Yeah, I mean like it's really not bad. You just kind of got to work with it a little bit more. It's not my favorite, I'll put it that way. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please comment, like, subscribe if you want to keep up with all my other videos. Let me know if there's anything else you guys would want to see me try out or if there's any other type of video you'd want to see from me. Just leave it in the comments below and I would love to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, eh. Alright, catch you guys next time.